All righty, friends. Looks like it's gonna be one of those days. Time to find some indoor activity. So today we're gonna change the oil and the filter on the uh, John Deere 4066R. So without further ado, let's get the party started. All right, so uh, I guess the first thing we want to do is uh, uh, raise the hood there. Y'all know you got to push that little lever there over to the left. And raise the hood. We are going to take a uh, 10 millimeter socket there and take this bolt out. And then we'll take the left panel off of the uh, side of the engine there. And a whole world of stuff is going to open up for us. There is a little nut and a bolt there holding it on. Then the uh, front of that kind of falls to the side and then the whole panel just slides forward. You can see there is a, uh, it is a nut and a, a lock nut on it there, so you may need a wrench to hold the other side. And be careful not to lose your nut. Then uh, to get the front panel, the side panel off there, it just kind of slides outward and forward. And you'll be able to remove the whole side panel there. You can see on the back of it, it does have some little, uh, I call them stobs, but they're, well, they're they kind of look guide like bolts. a stobs. <laughs> it's a what? Guide bolt. A guide bolt. To me, it's a stob. And you can also do that on the uh, right side of the tractor as well there, or the left side. Both sides come off exactly the same there. It's just one nut and bolt holding it together. So all righty, we're gonna pull my dipstick, crawl under there and take the oil drain plug out. See if we can get some of that oil drain in there. All righty, we took a, a 17 millimeter socket there. <coughs> Got her loose there. You can see the oil is a little black there. It's about time to do it. Ain't about 50 hours on it either. All right, we got the oil draining. Now we're gonna take the filter off. What are you saying about them oil filters? You don't you don't want the oil filter to be super tight. You you should be able to put your hands on it and take it off. It might be a, a little hard when you first grab it to, and spin it to take it off, but you shouldn't have to take a wrench to it. If you have to take a wrench to it and you're bending it all up when you're taking it off, someone put it on there too tight. See, this one wasn't that tight. See how it was able just to spin right off? Now you want to take it off about three-fourths of the way and let it drain before you take it all the way off or you'll create a big mess. Just like so. The thing I don't like about that filter is instead of vertical it's horizontal so you can't fill it up with oil and put it on yeah, you are so, correct so about that the tractor is going to run for like 30 seconds there with no oil in it once you change the oil all right so all we got uh, all the all the black oil drained out now it's time to put in some fresh we're going to wipe off the filter housing real good 
we did pour a little bit of oil in the filter there so it don't run too dry for too long. Maybe to help a little bit. And we got the gasket nice and lubed lubricated. up with new oil. And the uh, filter is black. I don't really like black filters. I like white ones or something you can write on. That way you can write the uh, date and the engine hours on the filter there when you uh, last changed your oil there. So. But I'm sure most of y'all keep a service record. So be sure and write it down in your service record of when the last time you changed your oil. And uh, how you put oil in this tractor there. You see there's a uh, 007 oil fill plug way back in there. That's why you do need to take the right side engine compartment cover off there to get to your oil fill thing here. Uh, the first time I changed oil on this baby I had a real, man I like to never found it. And even this time a year later I like to never found it again. So, but, uh, Always be sure to inspect your plug and the filter or the plug gasket. Make sure you get all the magnetics magnetic shavings off the end. And uh, I do work with a guy there. He would always put a mark on his filter and the machine there so he'd know if it would turn or not. If the filter had vibrated loose. He did it on all of his machines. And then uh, one time, it's a funny story, he took his truck to the shop there to get the oil and the filter changed. They changed the oil and the filter for him. He always checks his oil every day. He went out there the next day and looked and the, he still had the same filter in his truck. So he went back up to the shop there and like, y'all didn't change the filter in my truck. They're like, yeah, 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 we did too. He said, no, you didn't, because there's the mark I put on the filter. So, uh, needless to say, they had to rechange his oil and filter for him. We are putting uh, what John Deere recommends back into the tractor there, the uh, Plus 52, which is actually a uh, 15W40 premium engine oil. There was no uh, synthetic equivalent there. Uh, this is what John Deere recommends, so that's what we're putting back in the machine. It does hold a 1.2 gallons, so you'll have to buy two gallons because they don't sell it in like the .2 or quarts of it or nothing. But this is all I had. This is what we had to get. And uh, the uh, part number for the oil filter is a uh, M806419, one oil filter. You can see what that cost, $9.28, and two gallons of the oil, which is part number TY26673, 15W40, plus 50, two gallons. At twenty dollars a gallon, make forty-one bucks. So all in all, for about fifty dollars, you can uh, change your oil and keep the John Deere running like a deer. So there you are. We're gonna uh, wrap this video up there. Hope it's helped somebody out there. Y'all stay safe. Have a great day. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Bye.